Coach Wilson, kind of are our four graduating seniors this year. Um, just a couple little words before I go into the details on it. I've had the pleasure of one of these guys have. My last name is I know that they're all exceptional young men. Both on the field and off the field. I couldn't have been prouder to teach them first and coach them second. So tonight we're going to go through uh, a little introduction to who they are, who they're escorted by, and a little bit about what they're going to be up to after high school. So we're going to start off, first off with Jose Gomez. Yeah. 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 Jose, escorted by parents Maria and Jesus. Yeah. Jose plays center back, although this year he's had a little calf issue, so he's uh, he played four years for us here at LP, two years as varsity, and this year he's one of our team captains. I know, I'm not cold either. It's from my booty. Well, again, yeah, no. for two years. Uh, what you're going to hear is a theme amongst these kids tonight. That, again, good soccer players, but he's a better oh, uh, Jose is part of the top of the very high four foot of great point average. And, you know, that leads into what he considers his biggest achievement, and that's getting into college. So he's going to be going to college, although he is on his side and on a major at this time. So, with his, uh, with his words in the team here, he said, we did better than expected. And I expect to see an improvement when I come back to watch next year. Freshman in my class, wasn't able to play his freshman year. Came out and played his sophomore year on JV. Came out his junior year, played fullback instead of goalie, and then he's been number one goalie all senior year. Uh, very important part of our team. This is Carlos Madrigal. He's escorted by his mom, Maria. Again, as I mentioned, not only does he play goalkeeper, he's also an excellent fullback for us. So uh, tonight, four goalkeeper. You come on uh, Thursday versus uh, versus uh, Orville, you're going to see him play in fullback. Um, his greatest accomplishment, he says, and this is, this is I think just a great one. He says the advocacy that he has learned in high school and learning how to balance school and work. And uh, having gotten to know him over the last four years, this advocacy. <laughs> and all of his teachers have seen it's been the foundation of the young man he's become that we're all so proud of and we're really sad to see go. Now, uh, he's most proud and thankful for his friends, his parents, his teammates that have supported him and it has been an honor to represent Las Vegas High School. His life goal is to become an executive chef and own a restaurant. That's his real life goal. So in the future he's going to go to college, he wants to study culinary arts, and he is so thankful, this is a direct quote, I am so thankful to be part of the team and celebrate the wins and losses together. We are stronger together as a team. I wish my teammates the best of luck in the years to come. Coach, it's an honor being led by you. Love you all. Coach, you all. Jaden plays forward. He's been at LP soccer for four years. Uh, besides soccer, he's played four years of football and he's done four years of track, so he's ingrained into the athletics of this school. Uh, his greatest accomplishment is going to BYU Idaho. He got in there, so he's really proud of that. He's probably proud of the What is he most proud of? He's most proud of his family because, as I quote, they are awesome. And yes, folks, if you know them, you know they are, they are awesome. Yeah. He's going to be attending BYU Idaho in the fall, and then he's going to be serving his Mormon mission for the, for the LDS church after the first year. Congratulations. We're going to leave it on, on his quote here. <laughs> Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And definitely don't do anything I do. Peace out. <laughs> Finally, we're down to Nicholas Zarate. 
Surate is uh, accompanied by his, his mother, uh, Vanilia, and father and father, uh, stepfather, Antonio. And Nick plays forward. He played varsity, actually, as a freshman. Took a two-year hiatus for his sophomore and junior year, and decided to come back and play. We're so happy to have him back here. When I first heard that he was thinking of coming back, I was like jumping for joy, saying, yeah, I, can't, I, I love coaching students. To be at a coach in senior year has been a joy. Because anybody that talks with Nick knows that he's very, very soft-spoken, very eloquent, he's very intelligent, and he, he comes across as caring, and it's just really a joy to talk and interact with him. So to have this class, it's been a blast. Thank you! Let's go boys! 